Hello everyone, it is Tuesday today, which means it's time for another video. And today we're going to build a generator with a small defensive wall. So let's roll the intro and get started. So I've been playing a lot of Ghost Recon Wildlands lately, and when you're infiltrating one of the many bases that are in the game, you'll often find a generator. The generator is often linked to jammers or alarms, and it's also surrounded by a chain link fence. So I figured, why not make one of those? I also needed something that will help me defend this place, so besides the generator I will also build a small chunk wall which will go around it. So alright story time, I was in the train the other day because uh, my girlfriend she lives in a different town than I, than I do, she used to live in a different country so first I would take the plane, but now uh, she lives in the same country as I do and I have to take the train instead. Um, takes about 3 hours which is fine. But uh, I was in the train the other day, I was going to visit her and I came across something so weird, it genuinely confused the fuck out of me. So, to paint a picture for you, okay, you have to, like, nowadays you have this whole gender thing, like, people that identify as something else, you know, fine, do you, like, whatever, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so, um... Like, I read this article the other day, right? There was a company, and it had a guy, or a, a, a woman, depending on how you look at it. And this person, I guess you should call it a person. I mean, then you're always safe, I guess. This person would switch gender, not weekly, not monthly, but like with the snap of a fucking finger. You know, the other, like the other, one minute it's a man, and then the other minute it's a woman depending on what the situation is. Now, I find that quite rude, and I find it quite offensive. Am I going to raid his Facebook with hateful comments? No, I'm not gonna do that. That's pathetic to do that. But what this guy did, that switching of gender with the snap of a finger, I came across something very similar on the train. But not with gender, but with language. So, in the Netherlands, it's quite normal to learn two languages. Like, the first obvious one would be Dutch, and the second one would be English. Then it's up to you if you want to learn a third or fourth one, like French or German or fucking Chinese, I don't know. And um, either way, you basically have two languages in your head. I don't know how it is in America, for example. I guess you would be like, okay, you speak American and you speak Spanish, maybe. But not everyone does that, obviously. Um, maybe in other countries, you know, pretty much the rest of the world, you learn your own count or your own language and English, just like it is here. And um, these two girls, where well, I think it were girls, they they were like they they fit in that you know that 52 gender mix. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they, they picked one of them. I don't know which one they picked, but they certainly picked one of them. And they would talk to each other. And they would switch language. They would switch language. Like, with the snap of a finger. Like, they would start a conversation in English for some reason. Even though they're both Dutch, they would start in English. And then, once the, like, the topic was over, they would switch to Dutch for a bit. And then they would switch back to English. What's up with that? Why would you do that? Why would you switch from one language to the other if you're both speak the same language to begin with? I mean, I don't get it. Like the f like the last time I came across this, right? Uh, I was also with my girlfriend. She was uh, taking a bus to school, and there were these kids in the back, uh, these Norwegian kids, and they would just speak English to each other, but they wouldn't switch back and forth like they did in the train. It's still confusing the fuck out of me. Why would you do that? Why would you go from English to Dutch, back to English, back to Dutch, and it continued for that, it continued like that for an hour, for an hour. It, 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 what the fuck? Why? Eventually, I got so annoyed with these two. I just, had <laughs> I just had to switch seats. I was like, I cannot do this anymore. I cannot listen to them, fucking talk about. Uh, like the fucking One Direction dude. Uh, they would spill the weirdest fucking shit anyway. Right? They would spill the weirdest shits about anything. They would talk about fucking Harry Potter being 
being racist and uh, just, just nonsense absolute nonsense and then on top of that they would switch languages every fucking three seconds so I just switched fucking seats um, and thank damn that was the best decision <laughs> I made that day <laughs> holy fuck but still like uh, uh, why 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 would you do that like is that like a, a teenager thing is that like a thing kids do these days like they switch languages like that or is this like just something that comes with the whole like 52 different gender thing like uh, you know, if you know, if you are like a psych, psych, th th blah blah, what is it, whatever it's called, like a psych therapist or whatever, I don't know what the fuck it's called, and you know why this is happening, please leave a comment, because I'm dying to know, because I don't understand this shit. So yeah, if you are like a shrink, I guess you could call it, please leave a comment. Alright, enough ranting for now, pretty much everything is done already, right now I'm placing a construction light which will light up the entrance to the settlement, I've made it so that you will get a perfect view of the bridge when you're standing behind the junk walls, the raiders can still take cover behind the trees, but I think that's fair, I don't want it to make it too easy to defend this place. I will also place a ammo box in which I can keep some ammo in case I do need to defend this place. I forgot to place the guard rugs but I will place them off camera just so there's some extra benefit to this wall. And that's about it, a junk wall which will help me defend this settlement and a place for our main generator. I hope you enjoyed, if you did then leave a like, subscribe for more and a special thank you to my awesome patron Whips Donald. Do you also want to help out the channel then consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching. My name is Tuesday and I will see you next time.